Geologists have uncovered new details about a recent geyser eruption in Yellowstone National Park, including the shallow depth of the eruption and the surprising height of its plume. The erupting geyser in Yellowstone National Park shot water and rock debris up to 600 feet into the air, scientists said. Geologists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory estimated the height of the plume by examining photos posted on social media. They also determined the location and depth of the eruption, which occurred at Black Diamond Pool in the Biscuit Basin, about two miles northwest of the famous Old Faithful Geyser. The eruption was sudden, and, there were no early signs of the event that were detected by monitoring instruments, said Michael Pulland, a research physicist at the U.S. Geological Survey and the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. No one was injured, but the blast severely damaged a nearby sidewalk, and the basin remains closed while geologists assess its activity. Researchers analyzed the rock fragments ejected in the eruption and found that they were made of glacial material, sandstone, siltstone and gravel that lie just below the surface. The eruption did not eject bedrock buried about 175 feet deep, indicating that the explosion was very shallow, Poland said. Shallow geyser eruptions are common at Yellowstone. The damage they caused was small compared to what might have been possible. The explosion mostly sent debris toward the Firehole River and away from a nearby boardwalk where tourists were standing at the time of the eruption. The largest rock confirmed to have been ejected by the eruption weighed several hundred pounds but fell far from visitors. A blockage in the underground hydrothermal system beneath the Biscuit Basin likely triggered the eruption, Pullen said. Mineral deposits in the water pipes that run beneath Yellowstone and feed its geysers can block steam and hot water from passing through. The blockage causes a buildup of pressure that can eventually overcome the strength of the surrounding rock, triggering an explosion. The eruption likely rerouted the shallow hydrothermal piping system in the Biscuit Basin, and it's unclear what will happen next. By shifting the ground beneath the surface, the eruption may have returned the area to a calmer state or it may have created new geysers, Pullen said. It's unknown how the thermal features will react. But data collected by geologists from debris from the eruption will provide more details about the exact conditions at the time of the event.